Thank you, Jason. An exclusive Five on Your Side investigation uncovers what prosecutors are calling a major prescription drug fraud ring. It is a huge problem across the state of Ohio. The state ranks second in the nation in the number of prescri prescriptions filled for painkillers like OxyContin and OxyCodone. An accidental drug overdose is now the number of one cause of injury and death in Ohio ahead of both car accidents and suicides. On Your Side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us with what he has found. Ron? Well, this 40 count indictment spells it all out. Prosecutors suspect millions of dollars in painkillers bought with phony prescriptions were sold all over Cuyahoga County. Drugs include painkillers that were allegedly obtained with the help of a pharmacy insider. Ebony Hubbard worked behind this counter as a pharmacy technician. Prosecutors say she had computer access to key information from this CVS pharmacy at 79th and Euclid, including drug enforcement agency DEA codes used by doctors and pharmacists. The DEA numbers, the doctor's name, the doctor's address, um, and confirm the information that any pharmacy would confirm before issuing a prescription. Prosecutors say someone else went to this doctor's office in Beechwood where blank prescriptions were stolen and later used in the scheme. They tore it off the doctor's pad and then used those that they tore off the pad to try to cash in for uh, uh, prescription uh, medicine. And according to prosecutors, it was all run by this man, Willie Richardson. He's charged with sending two others, Angelina Artino and Angelica Oliver, to pharmacies and clinics across Cuyahoga County with phony prescriptions. They're asking for loads of like 125 pills and the such. So it was large, large quantities being asked for. And that's kind of what the red flag that went off. They got the uh, pharmacy text to say and see and say and question them. Once drugs were obtained, they were sold on the streets for up to $80 a pill. Once any individual who's as clean and hardworking gets addicted to a drug, it ruins their life. And to give you an idea how this is affecting Ohio, nearly 10 million doses of painkillers were dispensed in Scioto County in southeast Ohio just last year. Now that's 123 doses for every man, woman, and child there. Ohio's Attorney General has made illegal painkillers a top priority, and Senator Sherrod Brown wants federal money to help fight the problem. I'm Chief Investigator Rodri.